We are here on Pleasant Street to talk with Sam Prescott today about her life and her work. Sam is 23, about to turn 24. She has a new tattoo of a spoon uh, on the inside on her wrist. And that is symbolic of what we're going to be talking about. What's so important to her, the spoon where she works and is co-owner, her life, her family, her community of Hopkinton, all so important to her. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Hi, Sam. It's lovely to be here in your aunt's porch here in Hopkinton. And we are on Pleasant Street, mm -hmm. and it is a little bit of paradise here on maybe one of the hottest days in July. It is. Um, it's like a retreat. It is. Uh, <laughs> it's lovely. There's a fan going and nice shading and birds in the background and flowers. I feel quite cool in here, and mm -hmm. it's a pleasure to have the opportunity to talk with you today. And I uh, understand uh, one of the many things you're famous for uh, you were voted as uh, most likely to be a townie yes. uh, when you were at Hopkinton High School. Yep. Can you tell a little more what's it uh, like to be a townie, <laughs> how you got this distinguished title? Yeah, when uh, I title? graduated in 2010, that was my superlative. Uh -huh. so. and, <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, thank you. And six years later, it's still true. Uh -huh. so, um, so what does that mean? So my family had just, there were so many of us, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, that grew up in Hopkinton, graduated from Hopkinton High. Mm -hmm. We have such strong roots to this town uh, and uh -huh. to this community that going through school, it was kind of a joke to everyone, like, oh, you're going to be here forever, uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. like that type of thing. And and um, and what did like you I, think about that when people I, were saying it? You know, I always thought I'd move off for a little bit, mm -hmm. come back. Um, I didn't know I'd be at this point in my life this quickly, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Uh, it's kind of exciting. It's kind of fun to look at the town I grew up in and and uh, and everything. I have such a strong um, tie to it now. Mm -hmm. So mm. uh, yeah, it came true. <laughs> uh huh. And it sounds good. Yeah. Um, also, and it. Uh, I know you went to the schools here mm -hmm. in town. And uh, what did you like to do in the days, maybe the early days here in Hopkinton before you even went to school? What was your passion then as a child? Uh, I played a lot of sports growing up. Oh, you I did? was on uh -huh. almost every rec team or, wow. or travel uh -huh. team. All For that soccer? Of soccer, basketball, lacrosse. Wow. Um, uh -huh. I ended up playing or doing track. Uh -huh. um, in high throughout school. high school, mm -hmm. which I loved. Competing. Um, and competing, and yeah, which was really cool. What was your area of specialty? I, I ran hurdles, ah, so I was more wow. of a sprinter. Uh -huh. But then I actually ran the marathon in 2015. You did? Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, so that was, um, it was one of the coolest experiences uh -huh. I've ever had because I grew up a half mile from the start my whole life. Right. Uh -huh. So then to be able to experience the route in other places mm -hmm. uh, was a really cool feeling for me. Mm. And then the accomplishment of yeah. finishing it. So. Yeah. What was your experience on those 26 and a half uh, miles there? Uh, it, the first half mile or the first half marathon, I was so excited. Mm -hmm. Just that I was actually running. Mm -hmm. um, I hit a wall right before Heartbreak Hill and my brother had mm -hmm. surprised me and I just, just ran along and saw him on the sidelines. Mm. Wow. So that... Uh -huh. That's a good place to Yeah, that, see, huh? like seeing him there uh, and it being so unexpected, it uh -huh. pushed me through and I was wow. able to finish the last six miles. So uh -huh. that was really great. cool. And then being in Boston, finishing was awesome. Uh -huh. My parents yeah. were both waiting for me, so. Mm -hmm. What would you say about uh, the other people you were with, people from all over the world? Yeah, it, you know, it was incredible, especially going into Boston to pick up your runner's packets mm -hmm. and everything, just meeting people from South America, or from mm -hmm. Europe that mm -hmm. that travel all this way. And and for everyone, Boston is, is so important yeah. and, and mm -hmm. such a magnificent race. Mm -hmm. It was really cool to see that. And for mm -hmm. me, it was like, Oh, well, it's in like it starts in my hometown. My like hometown. It, you know, it's <laughs> I woke up and just walked up to the starting line, and yes. that was really cool. How about that? Yeah. Not everybody gets to say that. <laughs> yeah, huh? yeah, it is something. You know, that yep. the world comes to this town for yeah. one day, it especially is. right. Yeah, all eyes on our little town for yeah. 
for a week, and uh -huh. then, but it's really cool. Well, it's uh, very clear to see how much the town means to you mm -hmm. over time. And I also hear in their reference to your brother, mm -hmm. I understand you're very close with. Yeah, he's actually um, a ninth grade history teacher at Hopkinton High. Right here so, again. Mr. Mm -hmm. Prescott. Uh huh. Um, so you're famous as his brother, yeah, brother of teacher yeah. also. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm Mr. Prescott's sister. <laughs> uh -huh. um, more on those lines. But yeah. he's, he's amazing. The mm -hmm. kids absolutely love him. Mm -hmm. He has so much uh, knowledge and usefulness and, and passion for his job. Mm -hmm. uh, he truly loves teaching, and, and um, it's really incredible to see uh -huh. that oh. coming from someone. That's great. Yeah. And to hear of that special relationship mm -hmm. making the effort to be there at Heartbreak Hill for you. Yeah. And I understand that's not unique for your family. You are in a family system that is very close and connected and there for one another over yeah. time. Can you talk a little bit about what that yeah, uh, has I, done for you, what that means to you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been, I've been very fortunate growing up with the family that I have. Um, I grew up next to my grandma, right. I, I, mm -hmm. I've, my other grandparents live in the center of town. Mm -hmm. There's been 12 of us that gone through, that has been through Hopkinton um, High School. Uh -huh. And we're all within 10 years of each other. Wow. So uh -huh. just that growing up with them, mm -hmm. my cousins are more like my best friends mm -hmm. than, than uh -huh. my cousins, which is a really cool uh, feeling. Yeah. And just being, being here at my aunt's house that, mm -hmm. you know, this was, no big deal. Not even a thought. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, can I use your patio? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, my family is there for each other in mm -hmm. every sense of the way. Mm -hmm. Like, my aunt works at the Spoon. My two cousins came back later saying they work at the Spoon as well. Mm -hmm. um, my grandma had worked there for 34 years. Mm -hmm. And so throughout That's time. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, so throughout the years, there was 12 of us that had worked there. Uh -huh. So not yeah. just see each other at work yeah. on a Sunday, then you come here for Sunday night dinner mm -hmm. and there's like 20 of us here. And it's casually. likely good food too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and you just have like a little potluck dinner. Everyone uh -huh. brings something, uh -huh. you hang out and then everyone goes home. And, mm -hmm. and that was so casual for us growing mm -hmm. up. Um, so how many would that be around at a table typically? Uh, oh gosh. There was one Thanksgiving we had like 30, 30 people wow. but uh -huh. and it it's really just my immediate family mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and and um we just happen to get everyone yeah. in one spot uh -huh. and now everyone is getting a little older yeah. getting married having babies mm -hmm. um so we're we're growing even more mm -hmm. and we still stay so close uh -huh. so and that's it's a really cool feeling and uh -huh. i know not many families get to have that mm. um it, it's been amazing. Yeah, so. that's great to hear. Yeah. Um, I, on any given day, I'll see th three or four of my family members, uh -huh. you know. How about that? Yeah. yeah. That is more and more rare, I think, as we, as a country, mm -hmm. spread out in different ways often. Yeah. Um, and sounds very special. And I understand you've spent vacations. Oh, yeah. We grew up camping together. Camping. Um, we'd be down in Plymouth. Okay. We'd, mm -hmm. We'd have a seasonal there, we'd yeah. go, we'd start, and if someone's family had, or someone's parents had to work, you uh -huh. just stay with your cousins or, uh -huh. and whatnot, and, mm -hmm. and you're there all summer, and that's wow. how we grew up. Wow, So, uh -huh. And it, it was a, a really a cool community between us, and, and I think that's why the spoon it is so unique now, because yeah. it is made up of family, mm -hmm. Even my co-owner Bill, he he's more of like a family member to me than mm -hmm. than uh, a business partner or mm -hmm. anything like that. And his family all worked there, mm -hmm. and my whole family did as well. So when people come in to eat and to visit, mm -hmm. they feel like they're visiting family because mm -hmm. it kind of is that. Wow, you and join the family. Yeah, when you, you join. Yeah, you really the join Golden the family mm -hmm. and. And I think we've kept a little bit of that in the new place. Mm -hmm, and it's, mm -hmm. been a, it's been a cool feeling. And I know for me especially, I started working there when I was 14. So the people who frequented mm -hmm. the old place, right. and even now, they have really watched me grow up. Mm -hmm. They have seen me go through high school, make my transition to college, and, and kind of come home. And, 
um, they've seen, you know, all my good, good moments in life, mm -hmm. you know, your bad mm -hmm. moments in life. And in turn, I've seen other families in town grow mm -hmm. up and develop. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a couple come in, start dating, yeah. then get married, then uh -huh. they start their own families. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, they're coming in with three little kids. Wow. And you watch them grow <laughs> up. And it's a really... Uh -huh. It's a special feeling. Yes. That so you don't many get levels. Often. So yeah. It sounds like. Yeah. Well, why don't we go on and talk about the spoon a little yeah. bit since it's so <laughs> close to you and to mm -hmm. your family um, and this community as well. Mm -hmm. That's really a part of you. It, so, yeah. Um, can you, you were in school um, starting to work at the spoon at 14 mm -hmm. and then you went on to college. Correct. I went to UMass Amherst. Uh, my plan was to become a physical therapist, ah. which I really enjoy because you have the interaction with people, you get to help people. Yeah. Uh -huh. But um, after doing an internship and being in that field for a little bit, I realized that I wanted something different in life. Mm -hmm. And um, so I ended up leaving school after my junior year at UMass, mm -hmm. taking a year off. To think about to it. To think about it, yeah. maybe go into nursing. Because your um, mom is a nurse. My mom is a nurse, yep. Mm -hmm. My dad is on the Hopkin Fire Department. Uh -huh. So I thought that could be a good fit for me. Yeah. And then I just continued working in restaurants. Mm -hmm. And and I just, I, I always loved it. And it, mm -hmm. it never, it never really felt like a, a job to me. It was always just, you know, it, it wasn't work. Mm -hmm. It was, mm -hmm. it was the spoon. It was, you go in, you see all your regulars, mm -hmm. you see, you walk in and you feel you're just hanging out with friends and family the mm -hmm. whole time you're there. Mm -hmm. And you just happen to be waiting on them and serving them, mm -hmm. but it was always a fun environment. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that. Now by the spoon, for those who might not know, yeah. by some possibility, can you just uh, Yep, so clarify? it's, a, it's a, a diner here in Hopkinton. Mm -hmm. So it, it was the golden spoon. Uh, for 34 years. Mm -hmm. It was kind of that iconic red building right. off of 495. So in March of 2015, we closed down mm -hmm. and right. we had the opportunity to reopen. A hard uh, day for many people, it, a loss. <laughs> you know, I, w I was running and I'd just taken, um, I just passed Elmwood School. I took that left as I see a crane tearing mm -hmm. down the building and I had to stop in my tracks because Emotional. It, it was, you know, you spend so much of your time there. Mm -hmm. You spend so much of your life. You you really grow up there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And and uh, like my cousin Jared, as a kid, would sleep in the booth before going off to to school. And, wow. And oh. I know for him, that's such a a strong emotional connection to mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. uh, we've always joked that we really grew up in that place. Mm -hmm. So that it was never. Like it's never really a, a job to us. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so what happened? What led you to moving forward? So with the spoon? I actually was traveling with my best friend. She was studying abroad in South Africa. Wow. So uh -huh. I went over to visit her. So we're in Cape Town and I mean, it, it absolutely beautiful place. Wonderful. And the whole time, all I could do is talk about restaurants. Like we're, we'd be sitting in a little cafe mm -hmm. and I would just be talking, talking only about restaurants. Wow. And then it was the clearest aha epiphany moment uh -huh. to me. And Out I said, in Kate, South Africa, in South Africa, <laughs> in this little cafe, uh -huh. and I said, Kate, this is what I have to do. Mm -hmm. I was like, I have to, I have to be in restaurants. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. so, and I said to her, I was like, I want to own the Golden Spoon one day. Wow. Uh -huh. And so I came home. I told my parents that. Yeah. I think they thought I was a little crazy. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Yep. <laughs> and, um, but they were, they were amazing. My mom said the first thing out of her mouth was, all right, what do, what do you have to do to make that happen? Yeah. You know, um, mm -hmm. which truly shows to her character. Uh, I would never have been able to do any of this without my parents yes. and yeah. their belief in me. Yes. You know, because never for once did I see any doubt from them or, or right. any of that. It, it was just always, it was going to happen. So. And we should mention your age also. Yep. Uh, I, I'm, I was 23 yeah. when it opened. I'm, I'm about to be 24 right now. Uh -huh. so. Just this week, right? Yep. Yeah. Just, uh -huh. yeah, this Friday, actually. Uh -huh. Well, happy birthday in advance. Thank but you. that's uh, 
That's a young age, admittedly, yeah. for being co-owner. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people are are um, surprised, mm -hmm. you know. But I I don't really look at my age as as a strong fact, you know. I found what I love to do, right? And I did it. Uh huh. And yeah. um, that's really important yeah. realization yep. and how it came so clear. Also, yeah. uh huh. And so. What do you think uh, led to the clarity? You have any? Were you uh, thinking about it a lot there in South Africa? Yeah, or? you know, because I, it's obviously very difficult to to leave college mm -hmm. nowadays. Right. Yeah. So. After doing that, I really had to think about, well, if, I, if I'm going to leave school, mm. I need to figure out what I want to do. Yeah. And I was enrolled I was um, enrolled in a nursing program, and it was going to start uh, that next winter, actually. And I kind of had questions about yeah. it. You know, mm -hmm. like, it, it, I could see myself as a nurse, absolutely, mm -hmm. because I, I truly love to help people. But it, it just didn't feel 100% perfect for mm -hmm. me. Like you, right? Uh, true it, to you, right? It didn't. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel like me. So then, when I said I was like, I want to stay in the restaurant mm -hmm. industry, mm -hmm. it was the perfect moment of clarity. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. and I'm not maybe because I grew up in it. I watched my grandma, my aunt, my cousins throughout the years mm -hmm. work. Yeah. You know, so I I learned from some really great people. But it also just came very naturally for me. Mm -hmm. um, just the atmosphere of it, the energy of it, mm -hmm. um, how to how restaurants work, the ins and outs of it, mm -hmm. and it it was always a wonderful feeling for me to have mm -hmm. a, a good day at work. You know, yeah. to have a, a good busy Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. Because you I, really have an amazing uh, work ethic and mm -hmm. attitude and overall feeling about you from the little I've spoken with yeah. you about how much you love work. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I really uh, do. I know what uh, you were saying every every day. Mm -hmm. You you love your job. And I do. You, you know, every job has its ups and downs, but for the most part, I've yet to wake up in the morning saying I don't want to go to work today mm -hmm. because it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not work. It's it's the spoon. It's 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 enjoyable. Mm. Just being there, talking with the guests, mm -hmm. interacting with people, mm -hmm. seeing seeing them be happy over a meal mm -hmm. is complete satisfaction to me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I love I love helping people, and I think at the spoon you can do that a little because people can escape from their day for yeah. for a half an hour, forty five minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, they can kind of get get away and a little be, oasis. Yeah, a little way, oasis. You come in, uh -huh. you enjoy a nice cup of coffee, a meal, mm -hmm. and a good conversation with people. Mm -hmm. And and I think that that is so wonderful, and I'm I'm happy to be able to be a little part of that. Mm -hmm. um, of but that now you're away. a big part. Yeah. Can yeah. we backtrack a little bit and say how do does someone a 23 year old uh, get to be a co-owner so fast? How does that work? Um, I mean, I had worked there since I was 14, and mm -hmm. and I worked pretty much every Saturday and Sunday wow. of high school, mm -hmm. all four That's years. Dedication. Yeah, and and um, I'd come home from college and work mm -hmm. one week a month and. And I, I liked being a part of it. Mm -hmm. Like for me to take in high school, even to take off a Saturday and Sunday, I felt like I was I was missing out mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that I wasn't there. That mm -hmm. um, and and I just loved it. And I think I came back from college, and between two jobs, I was working about eighty hours a week. Wow. And I think Bill saw the dedication that I had. So yeah. when I had approached him. It was a good fit for us. Mm -hmm. um, he, and that was after you had the epiphany? Yeah, after I had the epiphany, I had approached uh, Bill about maybe taking on a little bit of the manager aspect mm -hmm. of it. Because um, he's a great chef, so he could uh, really get yeah. back into the kitchen and, mm -hmm. and do that and, and kind of relieve a little of the stress. And then everything, just the opportunity to... Mm -hmm reopen at one lumber and sell the property mm -hmm. at the golden spoon mm -hmm. just kind of all came about mm, fell into place fell into yeah. place and good timing 
uh, the right people mm -hmm. and everything, it and it just worked out for us. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm very I'm very fortunate in the sense that it was good timing, but I don't think it would have happened without my nine ten years of working there. Yes, um, yeah. and I and I truly loved it. Mm -hmm. I I could give every day to that place and be happy, mm -hmm. which I do now. <laughs> wow, which is a rare and special thing for yeah. someone to say about work. Mm -hmm. Really important. Yeah. Good to hear. And uh, do you have, over time, over all that time, that's about 10, ten years, yeah. right? Uh, ten any years. memorable moments or a special uh, spoon story uh, uh, that you like to tell that uh, there, is mean, in everyone's best interest? Also. I mean, <laughs> there's so many. Like, really? You, yeah. My, like, my favorite days there were the absolutely crazy chaotic days, mm -hmm. but it's in the restaurant industry. It's like a, a controlled chaos, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. the waitresses, the staff, you all know what's, what's going on. Mm -hmm. But to the people sitting, they're like, Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> like the amount of times I was told growing up, like you need to be on roller skates. You're uh -huh. moving around here so fast. Yeah. Um, those are always just great days. And, and especially like my aunt and my cousins and I would all work together mm -hmm. and then we'd come back here on a Sunday afternoon and just kind of like you you still talk about the spoon. review the you day still yeah. like we used to joke all the time that we could never have a, a family conversation mm -hmm. without the spoon coming into mm -hmm. coming into it at some mm -hmm. in some form yeah. Um, which was really, which was cool. Yeah. But, um, so many stories. So I would there's a, yeah, moments. there's a lot, so mm -hmm. many just to pinpoint one. And it's, interesting people from here as well as probably a lot of oh, tours. Yeah. You know, you meet, and that's something that I love about the restaurant industry is that you meet so many people mm -hmm. and, and you just asking one simple question, like where are you headed today? You get to learn a little bit about who they are, what they're doing, their families, mm. and and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. it, it's a really cool feeling. Mm -hmm. um, you meet some very interesting people, <laughs> uh -huh. know, especially in a diner. Uh -huh. it, it's really cool, and yeah. especially at the new place, you can meet a trucker, you can meet a construction worker, you can meet a businessman, like right. all forms mm -hmm. of, of jobs and every and everything and, and everyone is so kind mm, everybody yeah converges yeah and, and you can see at the spoon you can see a businessman and a construction worker sit at the counter together uh -huh. and mm -hmm. strike up a conversation and and that 30 minutes of cover it's really cool to see mm. um, that little community uh -huh. within a community so well that's great to hear and mm -hmm. a great way of uh, advertising <laughs> for those who've never been there yeah, it really yeah. is a special place yeah. are you a foodie would you say you're someone who loves uh, food and cooking and you know unfortunately i was a very picky eater growing up huh. um i you know which is and i wish i wasn't yeah but mm -hmm. i've started now to really get much more interested in food and and i find myself constantly on the lookout or other restaurants being like oh how are they preparing this wow. or how are they uh -huh. serving this or mm -hmm. something like that and and uh you know i find it very very interesting you mm -hmm. know you go to one place and they have like farm to table mm -hmm. and uh, you know yeah. in my mind how how can i do that how mm -hmm. can i bring a little bit of that so there's and possibility of yeah, that kind so of new ideas yeah, coming absolutely in and you know once we get settled you can really get that going or, or what specials does this place run mm -hmm. what interests people you know mm -hmm. um and i think i like i love that i love doing mm -hmm. new things mm -hmm. and bringing and creativity yeah. to it right yep mm -hmm. so i think uh so we have to wait and see look yeah, at what absolutely. might be coming down the line for absolutely. the spoon that sounds good and how about other hobbies or passions? Is there any time left for you outside <laughs> of your work, all you invest there? Uh, as much as I am at the Spoon all the time, I am able to get out mm -hmm. here and there, which is nice. Uh, I started to play some golf, which ah, is awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm still new to it. I'm st just here in Hopkinton? You um, I play a lot in Northbridge up at Shining mm -hmm. Rock, um, mm -hmm. a couple other like smaller courses here and there. I have a, a lot of friends and family members that like to play as oh, well. Mm -hmm. So 
which is great for me because mm -hmm. I can call up someone um, and they'll, they'll be, a, yeah, a little uh -huh. golf partner, uh -huh. which is really nice. And it, I mean, for me, it's the act of getting out mm -hmm. and it, you can be competitive with yourself, but still have mm -hmm. a great day with friends. Uh -huh. yeah. So which is really nice. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting a little better. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you think is the secret so far that you can share? Um, <laughs> just relaxing, honestly. Huh. And it's so uh -huh. hard, but yeah. I went out last week and it's really, you can't take your yourself too seriously uh -huh. when you're yeah. out playing. Um, well, that's and, good. And I think in life too, you need to, yeah. you need to know when, when to relax and when mm -hmm. to, kind of let go or else mm -hmm. the stress of it all will take over. Yeah, well that's so. really important advice mm -hmm. I think and given your work ethic again and yeah. attitude and what you have done on your life path <laughs> at, you know, admittedly a young age uh, yeah. on the journey. So uh, congratulations Thank to you. It's a great story uh, that you have to tell <laughs> about all that's happened and we are just about out of time. Okay. Do you have anything on your, you know, we call it a bucket list sometimes, the goals and dreams before you as you go forward? Yeah. Anything else there with all you've accomplished already? You know, I, I have a lot of ideas for, I never thought I'd be at this point in my life right now yeah. and seeing that I'm only 24, I have a lot left I can do. Um, I have a lot of ideas for maybe a new little place, mm -hmm. um, you know, just little hobbies here and there, stuff I'd like to learn. Mm -hmm. But we're actually also opening up an ice cream shop right now. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, exciting. Yeah, here it's in gonna, town? Yeah, it's going to be in the same plaza as, as a spoon. Okay. Cool. Um, so that, you know, people loved the ice cream shop at the old place, uh -huh. and we're a little disappointed that we yeah. didn't have it yeah. here. And it'll be really kind of fun to, to play around with that and, and experience that. All right. Wow. Um, in the next, so that should be in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. We should be opening. That's a good thing to have on, on a bucket list. Yeah. Uh, ice cream's great at uh, any time. Who right? doesn't like ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect day for it. I know. So I look forward to going down the street and seeing uh, what you have for ice cream as awesome. well. And, and wonderful. to seeing you at the spoon and congratulations again. Thank you. It's really wonderful talking with you and you hearing well. about your life. <laughs> wonderful.